What does an extra 20 grand get you with the new Ford Bronco? Let's take a look. In our first Bronco video, we showed you our white base model Bronco, and that one came in at just under $37,000. But we stopped in at West Hills Ford in Bremerton, Washington, and borrowed this Cyber Orange Badlands model. Now this Badlands model came in at just over $57,000. So what does $20,000 more get you in a Ford Bronco? Well, let's take a closer look. Now there are a few things that stand out visually as we take a look at the Badlands Bronco. This one comes with the upgraded metric 33 inch tall tires. They're mounted on a 17 by eight wheel. Now this is a major improvement over on looks over our pizza cutter 16 inch wheels with those little 30 inch tall tires. But wheel and tires are one of the first mods that just about any four wheeler makes with hundreds and hundreds of different wheel combinations available in this six lug bolt pattern there's no reason why you wouldn't go with an aftermarket wheel and tire just to make your bronco stand out differently now of course on the bigger tires this gives us a glimpse of what our base model bronco can become and we think this looks really good the front bumper is the steel modular bumper which is ready for the ford winch plate and winch the rear bumper is also steel and the Badlands comes with a full set of factory skid plates on the underside. More exterior differences are the factory rock sliders, and then you've got your Badlands badging and the Badlands grill, and these Badland Broncos also come with the halo headlights that have the extended turn indicators. Now all the things we've covered so far are fairly easy to get or upgrade in the aftermarket. But where that extra $20,000 comes into play is underneath the vehicle. Drivetrain wise, while the rear axle is still the Adventech 220 Dana 44, the IFS front axle is the larger Adventech 210 Dana 44 with bigger and stronger ring and pinions. Another big bonus is that both those axles come with manual lockers, which means you can get farther into tougher off-road trails. The Badlands also has that hydraulic front sway bar that can be unlocked even while twisted up on the trail. And to keep the tires on the ground both on and off-road, the Badlands Bronco comes with Bilstein position sensitive dampeners front and rear. For the interior, the most noticeable difference is the upgraded leather seats with rear molly panels. They are full electric and plush and comfortable and they come with color match accent stitching that's color matched throughout the Bronco in the Badlands Orange. Another upgrade in the interior over our base model Bronco is the larger 12 inch screen. And that's included with the Lux package from Ford. In addition to the 12 inch center display, the Lux package also comes with front and rear cameras, a cool bird's eye 360 camera view, dual zone heating and cooling, heated seats and upgraded floor mats. Up on the dash deck, you'll find USB ports for accessories. Then behind that center console, you'll find rear window controls, 12 volt power port, and more USB ports for those in the rear seat. Another standard accessory in the Badlands are the auxiliary switches found on the overhead console. These can be used for various accessories as needed. Now top center on the dash are the hero switches where you can activate the hazards, traction control, the front and rear lockers, the hydraulic sway bar disconnect, and if you have the auto trans, you also get the trail turn assist. The sound system is also an upgrade over our base model. Ford has added new goat modes with the Badlands, including mud and ruts, Baja, and rock crawl. Now they've gotten rid of the sport mode, but if you switch into Baja and then select too high, you'll be able to recreate similar shift points. 
So now that we've taken a closer look at this Badlands Bronco with its $20,000 higher price tag, the question is, is it worth it? Well, that all depends on you. First off, does it fit your pocketbook, your budget? Does it fit what you want to do? Do you want to just jump into a vehicle and head out for the trails and have some fun? Maybe add some more mods to this as you go? Or are you the type of person that likes to build a vehicle from the ground up? Maybe that base model makes a little more sense. 20,000 to go a long way towards aftermarket parts. Or maybe one of the other models of the Broncos would fit you better. Leave that in the comment section below. What model Bronco suits you best? Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you again soon.